Looking for the perfect way to spend your day in Marigo on French St. Martin? Well, today we are going to cover the fun and adventure and the food on the French side. Let's go. Where are we going next? Let's go. Welcome back to the Travel and Cheese Hut. My name is Michelle, and on this channel, we cover everything travel related. If this sounds like content that you want more of, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, today we are in Marigo, St. Martin. What an incredible place. It is breathtaking, and you can spend a whole day exploring this little area of the island. I had the pleasure of spending the day in Margo, and here's what I recommend for a perfect itinerary for a perfect day. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you plan this day on either a Wednesday or preferably a Saturday, because one of the main things that Margo is known for is its market. It is a really big market that happens every Wednesday and Saturday. Now they have the market available during other days of the week, but it's much smaller and not as exciting and not as many vendors. So I recommend going on a Wednesday or a Saturday. There is a wealth of things to look at and explore and it makes for a really fun couple of hours to go browsing around and checking out all the cool things that it has to offer. But before you do that, you need some breakfast. So I have a place that I'm gonna recommend that you try out. And this place is called Serafina's. Serafina's is an incredible French bakery on the French side there, in right in Margo. And I'll put the, the address and everything information and link to their website down below. They have the most incredible croissants and pastries and really good coffee as well and they have a nice seating area where you can sit out and have your delicious breakfast so you can feel up and charge for the day so once you've had your fill at Serafina's it's time to go wander the market this is my favorite part there's so many cool things to explore in there you have the normal uh, touristy you know t-shirt places with the you know, all the little tourist trinkets and things like that. Those are there. But then you also have the mom and pop pop-up tents that have like the incredible Caribbean sauces. And you have the one that has like the fresh sugar cane juice that they're making for you fresh there. You have a variety of vendors that produce their own small batches of rum and they have those there. You have the artisans who are making art or wearable art, they're there. So there's so much to see and do. This is also right in the area where the I Love or the I Heart SXM sign is. So this is also where you'd wanna, uh, if you wanna get that photo op in, this is where you'd wanna do that as well. So now that you've got some shopping and you might need to run back to your car and go put away all those bags that you just <laughs> picked up because the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little exercise in. That's right, we're gonna burn some calories. You're gonna climb up Fort Louis. Now this sounds like, well, I'm on vacation. Why do I wanna climb up a hill? Because the views are spectacular. So at the very end of the town, you're gonna head up this road and then it'll, it'll there's signs that will direct you to Fort Louis. When you get up there, it's a bunch of steps that will take you to the top. It is kind of steep. It is kind of hot. <laughs> but like I said, when you get up there, the view is so worth it. The other thing to keep in mind is there's lots of iguanas in that area. So just be aware that they run away from you, but just know there's a ton of them. So <laughs> just, I wasn't prepared and it freaked me out a little bit. So just be prepared that there's a ton of them there. Once you get to the top, like I said, the views are spectacular and you can even climb up to the very top of the fort and act like you've claimed it because the flag is up there. So now that you have climbed the mountain and claimed it as your own with well, the French flag, you're gonna make your ba way back down and now it's time to cool off. Margo does have a beachfront, but it's not the best. I recommend going a little bit further into the Friars Bay area. 
Friars Bay was one of my favorite beaches and areas to hang out. It is a little bit underdeveloped. There is some services there, but it's not a big booming tourist area. So it's kind of nice and low key and a little quieter. Uh, we went there a couple times and, you know, had wonderful areas to just kind of sit out and relax. And then we went and cooled off. We swam for a few hours and everything before we headed up for our dinner later in the night. But Friars Bay, it's calm. It's a great area for kids to go swimming because there's not a lot of surf there. Um, the beach is beautiful and sandy. There's even some snorkeling that you can do up near the rocks. So I highly recommend Friars Bay. It's a little bit off the beaten path, so make sure you know where you're going. I'll give you the details down below and directions on how to get there from Margo. Finally, the way to wrap up your day. Now you have climbed a mountain, you've gone swimming in, the, in Friars Bay, you're getting kind of hungry. The best place to go and have a dinner to top off this incredible day is up in Grand Case. And it's not at the fancy, fancy schmancy restaurants that are up there. While those are incredible, you do need to make reservations months in advance oftentimes to get in. However, the Lolos, the Lolos are where it is at. There are a number of them right in Grand Case. And what these are is traditional Caribbean barbecue. So they have ribs, they have chicken, I believe they even have steak and some, um, some of them have some seafood and things. And then of course they have great frozen drinks um, as well as corn on the cob, cornbread, things like that. Really delicious and huge quantities and the prices are super reasonable. It's a great way to end your day and watch the sunset over out over the ocean. I saw some of the most spectacular sunsets while sitting in Grand Case at the Lolo eating my delicious dinner. So I highly recommend that's how you end your day. Um, and then you can explore Grand Case. There are some shops and things up there as well. Um, it, it is a little, when we've gone, it's been a little quieter, but they do have quite, quite a few shops, uh, local shops up there as well. That made my perfect day. I hope you enjoyed that itinerary. I'll, put, I'll list everything I talked about in the video down below. I'll even put a PDF so you can download your own itinerary for Grand Case and for Margo and exploring that side of St. Martin. I hope you found value today. Give me a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time on The Traveling Cheese Side. And until then, travel safe. Where are we going next? Let's go.